I see you got the African pendant, right? So, are you into Egyptology? Are you into, what are you into? Spiritually. I, I consider myself a Christian. A Christian? Yeah. Uh -uh. My dad, I was raised under the religion of Muslims. Uh-huh. My dad is Muslim. Okay. My, my name is Nequasia. Nequasia? Nequasia. Nequasia, okay. Yeah. That's Sunday church. That's what you're saying. I don't go to church anymore. But you still consider yourself a Christian, yeah. right? So I give my money to you know. Okay. Yeah. This says you got a lot. You're into a lot of things. Yeah. Two thousand years after the departure of Jesus the Christ, the prophets are back to teach the real Jews the 12 tribes of Israel their true nationality this is their campaign Sunday church. Yeah. Right. You understand? But now you have preachers here to show you the proper understanding of the Holy Bible. Yeah. You understand? Now, you got it? Come on. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. All these books says, God says put them away. And further, by these my son, big modest, uh -huh. are making many books. Make, making what? Many books. All those books says, the Egyptology books, all those many books. There is no end. Uh -huh. And much is a weariness of the flesh. Yes, yes, so God is saying all of those books is a weariness of the flesh. It's going to wear you out spiritually. So uh, Isaiah 34, 16. You got it? Isaiah 34, 16. Can I ask Isaiah. Yes. So what do you read when you want to know about your own history, your own culture? history where do we read it the holy bible now here's the thing sis here's the thing because which version of the holy bible the king james bible the old testament or the new testament oh. hold on brother oh. you know why because you know what sis you've never heard color scriptures in the bible True. that's why you're saying what you're saying True. get me jeremiah 14 and 2 yeah. you see this I, the sister asked a real good question when you want to learn yourself in the whole what do you, what do you read you read the bible and we're to show you we're gonna put uh, color into the Bible because a lot of time when we read the Bible we read the Bible with white people face to it that's just what's been put in our mind well, not me, but yeah. no oh, but listen you 
you've gone to the Christian church, I've gone to the Christian church, we all went to the Christian church, so the the uh, the image of white people as Moses, as Jeremiah, as Christ, is in our people's mind. That's what we were taught here. Well, I, I mean, it's not in my mind anymore. Maybe as a child, that's what I exactly. that's what I, you know. But now, we're yeah. going to learn the Bible properly, we're going to learn the Bible thoroughly. Let's get color in the Holy Bible. Bring it up. Jeremiah 14, 2. Listen up. Do the morning and the gates of language. Come on. They are black unto the ground. Read about Judah again. They are black unto the ground. Judah's what? They are black unto the ground. Judah, Judah is black unto the ground. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We don't need cheerleaders. Hold on. Hold on. So what is God saying Judah is? Black unto the ground. Now, you've heard of King Solomon in the Bible, right? Let's see what King Solomon, the richest king, let's see what he looked like. Let's see what he looked like because, again, remember, we must put our faces in this Bible. For too long, we've read the Bible with white faces. We're going to read the Bible through blackface, through our lens, which is biblical facts and biblical text. Come on. Song of Solomon, 1 in 5. I am black, but comely. What did Solomon say? I am black, but comely. Solomon said what? I am black, but comely. Solomon said I am black and I am handsome. Who was King Solomon? The king of Israel, the son of King David. So what are we reading here? Black men and black, there's black women in here as well. So that's what we have. So now we got black faces in the Bible. Okay? Let's get Christ. So why do you have, if, if, if all of this is here, uh -huh. hair black, it's saying skin of copper, hair wool. Yep. How could we be brainwashed to follow this picture? Oh and my we're goodness. reading it in the book. I'm going to show you. Now here's, here's what happened. You see? There was an evil thing called slavery. Right. Slavery is why we read the Bible with white people's faces to it. Do you remember slavery? We were not allowed to read, we were not allowed to write. So how, so who, who would uh, break down the Bible to us? Who, who, who was doing it? Exactly, and what nation was the slave master? Huh? Exactly. Now, you see what's going on here. Look at what's going on, they beat the, what do you see there, look closely, huh? You're in, yes, yes, but now look closely, look a little closer. Look a little harder. What do you see? What is, what is the friar, the, the, the Jesuit priest, what is he holding? A cross. A cross. Now, what do we associate the cross with today? What is, what is when we wear the cross, what is that associated with? What, what religion? Christianity. Christianity. Now, our people, the so-called Native Americans, they understood that the crucifix was not a part of our heritage. But the white man who destroyed us put the crucifix up as that's the image that we should be praying and worshiping to. You understand? And they killed us. Give me a scripture. They did not worship so that's what happened. You understand? They destroyed us. They took everything from us. They oppressed our culture. They oppressed our heritage. They raped our women too. That's what they did. So it's the so-called, it's not the Bible that's the problem. The so-called white man, our enemy, he is the problem. He is the one that destroyed our people. Brother man with the bonnet, listen up, listen to this. This is what happened. You got it? Come on. Revelation 13, 15. Come on. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Wait a minute. Read that again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. It said he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. This is the image of the beast. I remember growing up, we all had this in our house. That's the image of the beast. How does he have power? Is there more? Come on. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be should speak. You see this image here? Do you see this demonic image? How does this image, how did it speak to our people on a mass scale? That, that's the savior. No, but how did it speak to our people on a mass, how, how was yeah. this image communicated to our people on a large scale? You 
Through yeah. movies. Yeah. Remember Passion of the Christ? Yeah. Remember the old movie we used to watch all the time, yeah. Jesus of Nazareth? Yeah. Remember uh, the movie The Ten Commandments? Yeah. Growing up, this is what we would shut the whole house down to watch these movies. That's right. But that's the image of the beast, and that's how he speaks. He speaks through his media, through his movies, his films. Read. And cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast. If, if you did not worship the image of the beast, uh, Gamaliel, hold this up. If you did not worship the image, read that part again. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast. If you did not worship the image of this beast, what's going on? Look here, look closely at what's happening. What, what would happen? Read that again. And cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast uh -huh. should be killed. Should be what? Should be killed. Should be what? Should be killed. What are they doing to this brother here? Killed. They killed him because he refused the image of the beast. And what are, what's going on today? That our people are refusing the image of the beast. But now, but you know why? That's because the understanding is back on earth that we are God's people. You understand? So, and who did this? The so-called white man. That's God's enemy number one. You understand, sis? So now, in repentance, give me her back. Because remember, Christ is making a second return. And when Christ makes his return, we cannot be seen with idols. You understand? God, that's the breaking of the first commandment. And I'm going to show you. Matter of fact, you give, me, yeah, give me that in Exodus real quick. Exodus 20 verse like 1. Because idolatry is a heavy sin that's among our people. Our people are into many different idols. Some of our people's idols are money. Some of them is women. Some of our people's idols is uh, clothing. Their children. Right. Okay? There's many idols with our people. Right here. I'm going to show you. This is now, <laughs> sis. This is the breaking of the first commandment. You see that chain that you got on? Uh -huh. I know you're hiding it with the shades. I'm not hiding it. I just want to look you in your eyes. Okay. Listen. <laughs> Exodus 20 verse 3. Thou shalt not, thou shalt have, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Wait, read verse 3. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So now, sis, that unk that you have on, mm -hmm. that is a graven image. Mm -hmm. That is an idol before the Lord. That is the breaking of the first commandment. Mm -hmm. So in our repentance, sis, we cannot have that. We cannot come before the Lord with idols. The Lord will kill us. You understand? We have to get rid of that. God is saying that there is no truth to that. Give me that in Habakkuk. Give me that in Habakkuk. You got it? Come on. Habakkuk 218. What profit is the graven image? So God is asking you, what's your name, sis? Nequasia. God is asking you, Nequasia, what profit is that graven image of the Ankh? What good is that to you? God is asking you that question. What's your answer to him? That's not our culture. As, it is, as the Israelites, that's not our culture. You sis, hey, brother man, stop. You were taught that. Somebody put it in your ear and you said, this is, but surely this is my culture. That's not our culture in the Bible. Read that again. What profit is the graven image that the maker thereof has graven it? Uh -huh. What profit is the graven image that the maker making it? But if this is an if, uh, 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 image from the African Wait, give me all that. Exodus 11 and 7. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, sis. Yeah, if it's the image of the African people, and I'm an African woman. Which African people? Because you had the land of Ham, which is mainland Africa, right? Like, like the independent. But then you have Israel, which is the northeastern most part of Africa. So what people are you talking about? But African people actually people in Africa. You see? Oh, sis. You see what you said? No, 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 you said something heavy. You said African people is African. What you're saying is we're all one people. That's the mind of Christianity. God says we're not all one people. I'm going to show you this because the um, that's an Egyptian custom. That's not an Israelite custom. I'm going to show you that the Israelites and the Egyptians are the same skin color but a different race. Come on. Exodus 11 verse 7. Come on. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue Come on. against man or beast. Come on. That ye may know how the Lord hath done put a difference. The Lord does what? Put a difference. The Lord does what? Put a difference. The Lord does put a difference between what? Between the Egyptians.
Tupsi? Between who? Egyptians. Those are the Ankh people. Uh -huh. And Israel. And who? Israel. And Israel that we read is black. So God put a distinction between these dark-skinned nations. And you, sis, you, sister, you're an Israelite. You're not an Egyptian. So the chain that you have on is false. That is not your culture. That's just what someone told you and you ate it up without any understanding. Where's your father from? My father is from Okay. What happened? The black people in America, how did we get here? Deuteronomy 2868. How did how did your father, a so-called American black man, get to this country? Through slavery, right? What was the means of transportation? Boat. Can we find that in the Holy Bible? Can we find your father's father means of transportation in the Bible? That's gonna show you that you're not an Egyptian. Stop. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one, then twenty sixty-eight. Because I'm, what I'm gonna show you is the black people that were sent here, that were brought here by slave ship, are black people that are Israelites. They're not Egyptians. They're not Egyptians. The black people brought here in America to serve slavery were and are the Israelites. The Bible speaks of. You got it? Come on. Deuteronomy one and one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all. You blacks, you Latinos that dwell here in America, right. on this side of Jordan, uh -huh. in the wilderness, uh -huh. in the plain over against the Red Sea, uh -huh. between Paran and Tapel and Laban uh -huh. and Hazaroth and Dizabab. Now, Deuteronomy 28:68. So now, brother man here, I see you listening, brother man with the uh, with the chain on, with the gold chain. Listen, I see you listening. Deuteronomy 28:68. I'm gonna show you your father's means of transportation. Watch this, and we'll see if you're an Egyptian or an Israelite. Right. Deuteronomy 28:68. And the Lord shall bring thee to Egypt again. Egypt again. Egypt again. Egypt again is America. Egypt is America in the Bible. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt captivity bondage again a second time with ship. How? With ship. How? With ships. How did black people come to this country? With ships. Does that answer the question of who you are? There's a milk. Oh, no, don't run now. Now she's like world runner. She gotta go. No, it was very important. But now, since you understand Okay, sit. Did, you, did you get a brochure? Did you get a literature to read? Yeah. Give us a call. On my way back. Give us a call, sis. Right back. Come on. All right? Huh? No more no cigarettes. Oh, me? No. What, okay. 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 Sis. So, no, sis. Just read. Read the uh, read the brochure. Give us a call. Okay. We're on YouTube. We're on. Okay. All right, sis. All right. So, gather around. So now you're learning your history that black people here in America are the Israelites. Now they will see the true men of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth.
So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.